Okay, so I'm sure if you're into coding, you probably already saw top programming languages of 2022. And I'm going to be honest, most of those videos are clickbait engagement farming. I'm not trying to be cynical. It's just a trend and people kind of follow it. Are they really there to help you? Is giving a complete beginner five programming languages they can check out helping them that much? In my opinion, no. And I want to make this video to potentially help you out. In actuality, one language may actually be better for this, such as C Sharp or C++, yeah, if you want to go into gaming. JavaScript, if you want to specifically go into web development, right? There's these languages for specific niches, but I want to talk about one specific language I think any beginner should check out and probably stick with while they learn computer science and to code. Because the most important thing as a beginner is to stick with the language, go through it, learn the computer science fundamentals, and those skills are what's going to actually get you the job not, oh, I know how to program in this language or that, for the most part. Maybe in startup culture, it's a little different when they need specific skills here and there. So the idea is learn how to code, get comfortable with coding, get comfortable with computer science fundamentals, and then worry about those specific skills later. With that in mind, it seems like picking the actual programming language matters the least. And for the most part, yeah, that's true. I still think it should be a general purpose programming language and one a lot of people use still in the 21st century. I mean, going about and learning Perl or Lisp, I don't think that's going to really offer you as much benefits as learning C++, Java, Python. Like at that point, you're basically just going out of your way to learn a language that not many people are using. There's probably not that many resources out there to help you with, and you're just making the journey overall harder for yourself. I'm upset! So let's backtrack to the title of this video, which is why is Python the best programming language to learn? Okay, hear me out. If you're currently enrolled in a computer science class and you're learning Java or C++, just focus on that for now. The fundamentals that you're gonna learn from the class outweigh the language that you're learning. So just stick with it for now. And if you really don't like the language, you can always switch after you're done taking the class. But if you're just starting out, you're trying to figure out where to go, which direction to go, which course to take, you're trying to self-teach, I personally think you should take the path with least resistance. And that's what Python offers. So let's get this straight. I've been talking for a minute about how language doesn't matter. The videos are clickbait. And now you might be saying to yourself, am I clickbait? Just wait a second. Python is meant to be extremely readable. That was basically the basis of making it as a language. And to get my point across, let's look at a beginner friendly program, Hello World, pretty much the first program you usually write in whatever language you learn to write code in because programmers such as myself are weird. And for some reason, the first program we write in a technology is Hello World, which involves printing the word Hello World to the terminal. Apparently it is supposed to teach you so many mechanics of programming, but honestly, there's not really much to learn from it. I mean, you learn how to print in a programming language and I guess that's pretty important, but I digress. So let's first take a look at the code to do it in Java. If you never programmed before, it might look a little crazy, but you see in that code shows the text we want to print wrapped in those parentheses that are connected by words that include print wrapped into some weird uh, public static void main. What is going on? Okay, so every single word in this Java file actually has a purpose. Each thing means something. And the ultimate goal is printing hello world to the terminal. Okay, wait, I have to compile it first. Okay, and I'll, oh, well, I forgot a semicolon. Let me just add that in. Okay, time to compile. Okay, and now I get to run the executable since it didn't complain to me during compilation. I think it's okay. Okay, so there we go. We should be able to do a lot with this, right? It just took me a few minutes to print Hello World to the terminal. So we should be able to start making Web3 scam coins tomorrow, right? Well, no. I think we're just getting started. There's a lot to learn, but how about we see what we can do with Python? Let's try to do Hello World and see how hard that will be. Okay, so to print to the terminal in Python, what do we have to actually write in our Python file? Okay, so we just write print Hello World quotation. Wait, hold up. That required 95% less code and is 100% more readable. But some random guy on Twitter was saying how much better Java is than Python, right? Well, I think we learned a valuable lesson here. Don't trust random people on the internet. Well, unless they're on Stack Overflow, right? 
So this right here is probably the biggest reason to learn Python first, I think. I was able to do the same task 10 times faster. If you're a beginner trying to learn how to code, then why would you choose the language that will make every task 10 times longer and have more chances of you spending time on debugging and errors? Some people might argue, oh, Python's not as professional as something like Java. But that's not true. I mean, they're both general purpose programming languages. Just because something is easier to use doesn't mean you should respect it less. Now, with that being said, I do want to address certain drawbacks that as a beginner, you may hear with little context and think, oh no, I can't use Python now. It's just not as good. So I think one thing is Python is widely used, but many big tech companies typically build the core of applications with you know Java or C++ because they're a lot faster. Those companies that are trying to build down in huge scale, they pretty much have to use every means possible to increase their efficiency and increasing the program efficiency as well, which you know Java, C++ is much faster. Well, yeah, that's, that's one thing they have to do, but that doesn't necessarily mean Python's bad, right? You can still build out a full startup with Python. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. And let me let you in on a little secret. Those companies, they don't actually actually care what programming language you know. As long as it's a general purpose programming language, they don't care if you know Java, C++, or Python. They're willing to see what your skills are, assess your actual coding skills, right? Those fundamental computer science skills we were talking about earlier that are so important. And from there, they're willing to take you in and, you know, they're trusting that, oh, if you need a code in this language, well, you're, you know, skilled enough and you have the potential to pick it up fast and just go with it. Assemble. So let's say you knew Python and Java equally well. If you had a coding interview, which one would you choose? As you just seen in our example before, obviously the clear winner is Python. There's nothing stopping you from picking that. The company wouldn't care and you would just have a better chance of doing well on the coding interview. Now remember, at the end of the day, you want to pick the language you're really most comfortable with. I just feel that it's easy to get very comfortable with Python. So if you're using like say Java every single day, you write so much code in it. Well, maybe it's just beneficial if you use Java. But I mean, for the most part, if you're just like like solving leak code problems on the side with Python, I think that you're easily going to feel a lot more comfortable coding during your interviews with Python just because of the ease of use. And now let's go off onto a personal anecdote. So from my experience, Java was my first language. I was originally self-taught, so I learned Java online. Then I took a computer science class my last semester at college. If you're not familiar, I've said this a few times on the channel, but I learned how to structure and algorithms with it. And then I started solving, you know, leak code problems, different algorithms with it, and I landed a job at IBM. Not bad, right? Well, then I got rusty at algorithms when I was working at IBM. I started interviewing again, I decided to use Python since I was using it for school and work at the time and I noticed, you know, this is a lot easier to use from my experience and I felt that might give me an advantage during interviews. I realized I was saving so much time in coding and debugging and I was able to land a job at Google and guess what? At Google, I've been coding in TypeScript and Java. So one of the top companies people prefer to work does not care if you interview in Python and I'm not even coding in Python while I'm working here. The language you choose, it doesn't matter that much, but in this case, I feel that Python gives you an advantage over, you know, choosing a harder language that's going to require more work. And before people in the comments come at me, yes, I'm aware Java's typing system and its lower level aspects do help better prepare you for some computer science concepts. But is it worth the 10 times longer time it took to actually learn how to code, how to learn computer science? No, it's not. It's a grind learning code, especially if you're on your own when you don't have assignments due for school if you're taking like a class. So if you're teaching yourself to learn to code, it's extremely hard and make it as easy as possible. So do yourself a favor. And if you're learning how to code, choose Python.